Hi students, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How are you? I hope you are all very good. Welcome to our fourth video in the series all about houses. Today our topic is the bedroom. But before we talk about the new vocabulary, I want to have a very small pronunciation lesson about the words bathroom and bedroom. The word bathroom has the letter A, and the A sounds like this, A, A. Say it with me, A, A, bathroom. And the word bedroom has the letter E, and E sounds like this, E, E. Say it with me, E, bedroom. Bathroom, bedroom, okay? Bathroom also has the letters TH, and it sounds like this. If you notice, my tongue goes between my teeth. Okay? Say it with me. Bathroom, okay? And the word bedroom has the letter D. And D sounds like this, duh, duh. My tongue goes to the roof of my mouth, duh. Say it with me, duh. Bedroom, okay? Bathroom, bedroom. Got it? Now, let's move on to our new vocabulary. I have a question for you. What? do we do in the bedroom? Remember, do means fase. What do we do in the bedroom? We wake up, we go to sleep, we put on our clothes, we do our homework, and we play with toys. Okay? Next, what do we keep in our bedroom? What do we keep in our bedroom? I asked my daughter Maya to help me with this part. She is going to show you her bedroom, okay? Pay attention because you're going to do the same thing with your bedroom, okay? Hi, I'm Maya. This is my room. This is my bed and this is my pillow and this is my closet and these are my clothes and th these are my toys and this is my favorite toy bye thanks for helping me maya you did an amazing job now students i want you to do the same thing as maya i want you to make a video show me your room and say the exact same sentences as Maya. You are going to use the words this and these. This is singular and these plural, okay? And remember, in the end, to show me your favorite toy, okay? And for the students who want the advanced extra challenge, I want you to write the new vocabulary and I want you to tell me about your favorite toy. What is your favorite toy and why is it your favorite toy? And I mean, if it's not a toy and it's a thing, you can say thing. I know some of my older students might not play with toys anymore. So tell me your favorite thing in your room and why, okay? So this is the end of our fourth video. I hope you liked it. I still miss you so much and um, I send hugs and kisses, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.